man created God, not the other way around. Having a science background, I guess I, I, I find more fulfillment in, in you know, watching the night sky and actually wondering how that actually came to be versus just saying, oh, it's, it's really cool and God did it. Atheism is without God, not against God. And that's a big problem for a lot of people to understand. They think we're out there to destroy religion in this country. No, we want people to look at it rationally. Even within my own family, I have relatives that don't really even talk to me anymore because I'm an atheist and they're religious. And I think a lot of that is they just don't understand what atheism is. We're really no different than anyone else. Um, we just, we just come to our conclusions based on uh, what we believe rather than what someone else says we should believe. I would definitely support the case that you can be very good without God. You do not need a God or a deity or a supernatural being of any kind in order to live a good and moral life. I think if you look to yourself and to your community uh, as the guideposts, you will live a life that is positive and meaningful and happy, but you won't define that based on either a holy book or a religious leader or any dogma of any organized religion. We tend to say that the world is a natural place and it is defined by natural laws. And we as human beings who have needs for community and support and to be living a positive and meaningful life do that without the help, support, or need of gods. I've thought about that quite often that, you know, I decided that I don't believe in the religion stuff, but in my government, that's supposed to be okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're, we're in a free country. Yeah. What do we have? Freedom of speech, freedom from want, freedom from fear, uh, freedom of religion. You know, that, that's worth celebrating. I know, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I'm really at the apex of, you know, I'm a white woman living in a free country. I can say what I want. I can do what I want. I, I can be a scientist if I want. I've got those opportunities. If I was born even 500 years ago, I'd have probably been burned at the stake for something, <laughs> probably for you opening my mouth too much. Um, I'm just who I am, and I don't happen to believe in superstitions. There's lots of superstitions that I don't believe in. There's lots of gods that I don't believe in, and I, my husband teases me because I worry about Odin and Osiris and Akhenaten, and you know, what about those guys that were so used to having all this publicity and, and people going after them? And we're not doing it now, but we just, they get replaced. And so we just replaced them again, and I replaced them with something else. Science, probably. Nature. I think if you take religion out of people's lives, you got to remember what a part of the culture that religion is. So when for some reason, any reason, you don't buy that anymore, you get separated from that social group. And I think people get lost. A lot of people are very afraid to do that because of that very factor. Hence the importance of groups like us to let them know that it's okay to be this way. And if you believe in heaven, fine, if it helps you. But don't tell me that's truth because I can't experience it. I can't know anything about it. It doesn't rationally make any sense. And the only documentation or proof people have for it is it says so in the Bible. Well, I don't take anything else on one person say so. And... I didn't take this either. And if it can't stand up against rational inquiry, it's not valid. Whenever someone like me says God, we're reinforcing the concept of God. 
It, we should all be saying, every atheist, everyone who doesn't believe in a God should always say, a God, your God, the God of, because one of the primary arguments about there not being a God is that there are so many of them. People believe morality and ethics is based on a belief in a God. Well, well that's, there's no, there's no evidence for that. There's, in fact, there's probably evidence that leans, tilts just a little bit the other way. The less, the less you get commands from a God, probably the more ethical you do become because you don't have all these constraints of who you have to treat nicely and who you can't treat nicely and who is equal to you and, and so forth. I think people are more subject to uh, uh, believing in things that aren't true when, when what isn't true gives them hope. Uh, I just want them to get kind of bring down the God part a little bit and figure out how to get hope in some other ways, that's all. Personally, based on the evidence that I've seen, I don't think there's a God. I don't believe there is one. And other people do, and that's fine. And that's how I've explained it to my children, you know, as they've gotten older and they ask about God, what is God, is there a God? My answer has always been, some people believe there's a God, some people don't. Your parents don't, you can, you don't have to, it's up to you, that's the way it is. It's hard, you know, in Brainerd, there are plenty of people in my group that will not, they're not out, so to speak, as atheists. You know, we have one guy who owns his own business and he is terrified that if he makes it known that he's an atheist, he's gonna lose business because of that. Um, we have several people who haven't told their parents because they don't want their parents to disown them. They don't want to not be invited to family events. And so it's hard because for me, I feel like I really have an easy time of it, but most I'm not representative of what most people are going through in the group. One of my brothers doesn't speak to me anymore. We had a, a firm, loud and animated conversation a number of years ago. And since then he hasn't talked to me. Uh, I think attitudes are loosening up, becoming more liberal towards all kinds of religions. I mean, it's not just free thinkers and atheists, but, uh, well, I guess all kinds of attitudes towards gays, towards, uh, the, the society's just getting more inclusive. Oh, it's got a long ways to go yet for, for atheists. <laughs> I'm fortunate enough to be in a family and in a career uh, where the people I interact with are generally uh, accepting. Um, tolerant people. Um, I would not say I've suffered much in the way of emotional or other types of abuse uh, for my position. Even though uh, in central Minnesota there, there is a lot of religiosity. I think there's, there, it's a real easy out for a lot of people to do as they're told. To um, listen to a radio station and do what that person says to do. And I think if we look at the country, look at the world, we, we see it a lot of places where that's a bad thing. And, and I think that if people would think for themselves, base their beliefs and actions on what they believe, the conclusion that they have come to, I think it would be a much better world. I like to say that we are a group of atheists, agnostics, humanists, and all others are welcome. People can come, but they should know who we are.